back to my channel. I have not done a video in quite a little while but I am back again in 2017 doing a proper sit down video and today's one is going to be favourites that I've been loving so far in 2017. Um, there's quite a few different things but I had to really narrow it down to my favourite things I've been using most often. And let's just go ahead and get straight into it. First thing today is a couple of skincare items that I got from At One Skincare. It's actually a local skincare company in Perth, which is all organic and vegan friendly. So this one is the Vitality Certified Organic Beauty Balm. This is amazing because you can use it in most parts of the body, but I use it every, oh my God, who? But I use it probably every night just on my face around this area here and on my forehead and chin. So I find it super hydrating and it has one of the most beautiful smells. It actually takes me back and reminds me of a day spa in a hotel I stayed at in Singapore. It's got that real holiday day spa smell. So I really, really love that at the moment. And I'm getting hair all over because it's like a sticky balm. But... It's really hydrating and it just smells absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I definitely recommend getting that. As well as, oh, I'm getting hair like all over these bottles. It's because they're like slightly a little bit, like not sticky, but wet, like oily, you know. Um, but I'm loving this Bliss Body Oil as well. I use this every day after I get out of the shower. I put it all over my arms and my legs. And I find it super hydrating as well as I use coconut oil a lot as well. So I use coconut oil all over my body. And then sometimes I even put this on top of it if I really want like extra hydration or if just got out of the bath or something. And um, in this oil, it has sunflower oil, apricot oil, passion fruit oil, yojoba oil, avocado, argan, pink grapefruit, blood orange oil and mandarin oil which is all a perfect combination and smells very similar to the beauty balm as well it just has that real day spa calming smell and I find that I've got a lot of compliments when I wear this oil because it almost gives off a lovely perfumey scent as well but it's all natural so that's even better so yeah I'm absolutely loving these and I'll link everything below for you to have a look at and um, this is a great brand for anyone who is vegan and loves good organic skincare. My next favourite is kind of random, but it is super comfortable and it's like my favourite thing to wear all the time. But it's actually my filler slides. <laughs> um, I just find like, I actually got these in the men's section of the shop factory, but I just love slides so much. I've actually got a pink pair from Ruby Shoes. But I just love these the most. They, they fit me perfectly, but they're all cushioned underneath as well. But they are just the best and most comfortable shoes to walk around in. And I naturally have quite flat feet. So I need a little bit of arch support or a soft surface on shoes. Otherwise, if I'm walking around in shoes that aren't very supportive or soft or anything for a long period of time... I seem to get a little bit of knee pain or just like a burning sensation in my arch, which I have to get sorted out. I need to get it sorted out at a young age because it's going to really damage me as I get older because my dad is the same. However, going off on tangents, um, I need to wear shoes like this more often and I find wearing these more has actually helped me feel more comfortable walking around and everything. But I use these mostly walk around the house or if I'm just going, you know, up the shops quick or anywhere local or anything. But um, yeah, definitely get some slides because you can get them at most stores now actually because like it's really a popular thing. Um, I'm hoping to get some for the Kayla Nico Vegan Boutique. You can get quite a few faux leather um, slides as well. These are not leather or anything. Um, so yeah, I got these for $30 at Factory, but there's many other stores you can get them, including Taylor and Eco, hopefully soon, so stay tuned on that one. And um, if I can link these below, I will try, but I think you have to go in store to be able to see them. Now another clothing style item, or accessory item should I say, is one of my very own Kayla and Eco vegan handbags. Now this, by far, right now anyway, is probably my favourite handbag at the moment because 
it's just got that gorgeous light grey minimalist style bag it's just so good quality it can literally hold everything um, and because I like to have so many things in my bag all at once then I need like a big strong bag and this one it has a most beautiful feel on the inside it's like how would I explain it it's got that very soft faux cashmere kind of feel um, so it's like that on the inside with just that little gold detailing and a little pocket in here Oh, and a new purse I got recently. I'm really liking that too. It's not from Kayla and Eco, but I got that from Kmart, so it's actually a really good purse. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving this bag right now. We do have some in stock at the moment, as far as I know. There is a few left, so there is um, a few different styles as well that you can get of the Kayla and Eco minimalist style bag. But yeah, the light grey at the moment is one of my favourites. You can also, I used to have white, but I'm hoping to get that back as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this. Been using it for a couple weeks now. It's super strong, good quality, and just very stylish. <laughs> Another accessory item is something I'm wearing, and it's actually this gold watch. I think in one of my other favourites videos, I had a gold watch that I was showing, but... I really loved it, but for a while there, it started to fade really quickly for some reason. I don't know why, but I picked this up actually at uh, a Kmart for $9, and I've been wearing it almost every day for about two months, and I'm just loving it. I really love that simple, minimalist style look, and I love gold and white together. I think gold is a perfect accessory for like any classy, chic, stylish outfit. So yeah, I um I wear this quite a lot, but we also have a few watches on the Kayla and Nico store at the moment by the brand Votch. They actually do vegan minimalist style watches that have vegan straps. Um, so far we have black, rose gold, and I think we have like a grey and pink one. But I'm getting a bit confused because I know that we're getting new ones in stock, but I'm trying to think of the ones we already have in stock. But yeah. Um, we should be getting more soon, and yeah, if you want that kind of minimalist style look, then have a look at Votch on the Kayla and Eco website, or pop to Kmart to get this exact watch, because it is on special, so I don't know if they still have them, they might have been getting rid of them, but yeah, I just love that look. Now my final favourites are actually two books that I've been loving so far in 2017. And I've used one most recently because I've been doing up my office and like not a full makeover because I still need to paint the walls, but I do like to feng shui my office to bring in good energy and everything. So actually this book is one of my favourites this year so far. Is um, My sister actually got it for me as an early Christmas present. So since January I've been reading little bits here and there and everything and it was my go-to when doing up my office again and um, I just find it has so many good little tips and tricks and it's got this little section here I'm not sure if you can see it properly um, it has like a full chart on the feng shui of like south, southeast, southwest and northeast and northwest and all the different Things it represents, for example, like southwest part of the room is marriage, partnerships, smotherhood, yellow, and the number two, um, and different things like that. So that is a really good book to get your hands on. I'll try and find it online so I can link it, but at least you know what it looks like. So keep your eye out in bookstores because you might be able to find all kinds of feng shui books that can really help you out if you're doing up a room or you're moving house or you're just more of a spiritual person so you like to know how to make your home already so yeah I definitely recommend this book. The next book is The Secret The Magic. I think this is their third book that they've made but correct me if I'm wrong I'm, I'm not 100% sure but I did read the first one and now I'm reading The Magic but I don't actually read these type of books. Well. Some books I do, but I, I like to open up to random pages and then read a random chapter because I feel like sometimes with these kind of books it is put there to tell you something in a certain moment that you may need that. But I really, really love this book and it's really been helping me lately get back to my 
you know, law of attraction self, because for a while there I was getting a little bit stressed out with, you know, starting the business and everything like that, and my head was, you know, still in the spiritual place, but not as, as deep as it usually is, but now I've, I've gone back to my normal self and my positivity and my happiness and my, you know, law of attraction ways, and um, I'm just really loving reading this book again, because it just teaches you so many good little tools to use every single day so that you know you will never go back to that old way that you used to be. You know, you start looking at things differently. You start looking at all the simple, tiny little things in each day differently. And you easily become aware of when you are being negative or, or saying something. And I really think having a tool like this book is an essential in everyone's life to be honest, and some people aren't really ready yet to maybe launch themselves into something that is like this. However, a lot of people that are spiritual, if you are looking for a good book and a good tool to use in being more positive every day and, and different things like that, then this is a really great read. And like I said, opening up randomly to things is fantastic. So I definitely believe in the power of gratitude and that's why I really, really love this book. So that's all of my 2017 favourites today and I hope you've enjoyed my video and as I said I will try to link as many products as I can below. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do all of them but anyway I hope you all have a beautiful day. Sending so much love you guys way and lots of gratitude. Mwah.